Ladies and gentlemen, the wait is finally over. Android 16 beta number one is here and I have installed it on my trusty Pixel Fold. In this video, we're going to quickly go over everything that I can find that is new. As usual, I do have this in written form on shanecraig.tech, but for the sake of this video format, what we're gonna be doing is capturing my phone screen, and I'm gonna try to demonstrate as much of this as I possibly can. So the first thing is actually something that is sort of behind the scenes and it should lead to something later. If you jump into Google Gemini, you go to the extensions section, you can see all of these different extensions. These are basically things that allow Gemini to reach into other applications and do something. With the most recent Samsung Galaxy S25 devices, Gemini has picked up the ability to reach inside several Samsung applications like their notes, reminders, and calendar. Now, Michelle Ramon on Android Police actually wrote that it appears as though Google is working on some new app function API, which he thinks could allow Gemini to do something similar for many different applications, basically allowing app developers to give Gemini a door into their app to have similar different functions. So it's not something I can show you explicitly right now, but it is something that should be coming soon. So this next one is something that when I first saw it, I got pretty excited, but as I dug in, I realized it's not as big of a deal now as I thought that it was going to be. Let me kind of give you a little bit of a history lesson. A lot of Android apps are not built to run on large screen devices. If we fire up something like Wise, you'll see that it's just not designed for a screen this size. We have pillar boxing on either side. Now, some time ago, with these Pixel Folds, Google gave us the ability to jump into our settings and go into aspect ratio and change this to full screen or some other options, and it will just stretch the app out across the entire screen. Now, as you can see, you don't have the pillar boxing, but this is just not a well-formatted application for a large screen device. But still, we have the option with a Pixel Fold to just sort of force this to happen. Android 16 is also addressing this issue by phasing out the ability for apps to restrict screen orientation and resizability on large screens, allowing users to run apps at any window size and aspect ratio they prefer. Reading from developer.android.com, they write, this change introduces a new standard platform behavior. Android is moving toward a model where apps are expected to adapt to various orientations, screen sizes, and aspect ratios. Restrictions like fixed orientation or limited resizability hinder app compatibility or actually adaptability is what they wrote. So we recommend making your app adaptive to deliver the best possible user experience. This really is something that they are just pushing towards. They want all these apps to work on all of these different form factors and they're taking a pretty big step towards forcing that to be the thing. So Android 15 actually pushed out something called predictive back animations, but it's only really there for like system apps. You don't really see it anywhere else. If you don't know what I'm talking about, here in my system settings, if I try to go back, watch how this little animation begins to play that actually shows me a little glimpse of what I'm going back to. If I go back again, now you'll see I'm actually going to be going home because there's no or there's nowhere else back to go. This is just gonna close this application. With Android 16, you should begin to see this a lot more. Applications that are built targeting Android 16 should have this feature predictive back animations enabled by default. Something else that's new is if you use the three button navigation and you long press on that back key, you should get the exact same thing. So we now do have this working with three button navigation. So there's another feature that they're talking about called live updates. And this one actually kind of confuses me a little bit. I'm gonna show you an image here on nine to five Google where they're showing what this is apparently going to look like. Live progress or live updates, I should say. Progress centric notifications help users seamlessly track user initiated start to end journeys like rideshare, delivery and navigation. So this appears to be uh, basically a delivery that is happening. And you can see that it is up here at the top on the lock screen and up at the top in the notifications. But of course, we've had things like this already. Like if you're doing Google Maps navigation, you should see this ongoing notification there on your screen. 
Seeing this kind of thing on your lock screen for certain applications also isn't particularly new, so I'm not exactly sure what to make of this one. I thought that it was going to be something more akin to like what OnePlus has with their, what is it called, live alerts. We have a little like a, a dynamic island popping up here and you click on it and it expands out. So you have like an ongoing notification up there at the top of your screen. It's nothing quite like that. It's more just a persistent notification. But again, I'm not sure how different this is from things that we've already had. And Android 16 is adding compatibility for the advanced professional video codec. If you don't know what that is, it's probably not going to be all that important to you. It's basically a very high quality codec that is meant for mobile users. It's going to be quite lightweight. So your videos are gonna look really, really good, like perceptually lossless, but not have a gigantic file size. So cool for creators. All in all, there's not a ton of stuff in this first beta to be super, super excited for. But keep in mind, this is just the first beta and it is likely that we will see more features sort of added as time goes on we should see the full release sometime around the second quarter of this year so not all that far off obviously we're already in the beta so it's coming pretty soon if you want to test things out there will be some links in the description down below but basically you can go here and enroll in the beta or you can go here and you can download the system image yourself and sideload it either way that you want to go is going to work just fine but guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.